Hello everyone, TMAN978. Right now I'm going to be doing a chill comparison review between Make Toys Meteor, Takar Tomy's MP52 Starscream, and Deformation Space Crimson Wings. Now here's what I learned from my Optimus Prime video where I did pretty much the same thing, where I showed four different Masterpiece equivalent Optimus Primes. I need to start saying stuff up front. Number one, please, if you're going to comment, Please be as constructive as possible. If you have horrible social skills or a mental condition and you decide you want to curse me out due to any opinions I have, and yes, I will have opinions because this is my channel and you came to my channel for my opinion. If you want to curse me out, YouTube is going to automatically delete that. They've been deleting video. They've been deleting comments with a bunch of cursing in it. I can see them, but I can't interact with them because they don't get posted. Two, I read all my comments, but if you want to put like multiple paragraphs, please do not expect me to read all that. <laughs> I appreciate you, but yeah. But before I forget, these are like the most cartoon accurate versions of the Masterpiece Seeker or Masterpiece Starscream that you can get. So that's why MP3 and MP11 aren't here. Please do not ask me where are they because I just explained it here. If somebody just does that, I'm not replying. I can tell you that right now. But anyway, let's get on with this. Thank you for watching in advance. To start things off with Make Toys Media, there's a brief look at the packaging right there. I'm only going to show the front since it's right here available. And here are the things he comes with. He comes with the instruction manual, the null ray replacement pods. You can take the missile off and put these in there. A head for their Make Toys Despotron to choke Starscream and two extra faces. Another thing I guess I should mention is I'm not going to be having a transformations in this video. This video would be long as crap if I did that. But let's take a look at this cartoon image of Starscream in his jet mode. Take a long look at that. And now let's look at this right here. Meteor probably has the most sleek jet mode where it's actually flat and probably actually capable of flying maybe if it were a real jet unfortunately for this jet it does not hold together well which is freaking frustrating like if you pick it up like this it's gonna do that and trying to get this stuff to stay shut aggravating but here are the, the missile pods right there as stated you can pop off the missiles and plug in that if you want them to actually have the null ray look you could pop that off and pretend that he did shoot out a missile this is the first release version of this figure so it doesn't have the wing fillers and it doesn't have blast effects but if you have Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy blast effects they are fully compatible because that's a five millimeter socket right there. He does feature landing gear, but they do not roll at all. In fact, when I keep putting this down, it keeps shutting the wheels back here. So there's that, but you don't have to open anything. You just grab this and pull it out for the front one. And you don't have to open anything back here. You just grab and pull these out. All right. The thrusters are kind of adjustable, but not really. And like I said, these wings and everything are flimsy, nothing holds together. And that paintwork right there isn't accurate. And then unfortunately it has, they didn't paint the hinge. If they would have painted the hinge red, maybe that would have been more cohesive right there. Of course it doesn't come with Decepticon logos, but I placed them there. The intakes don't really have any real detail. They're just plain. But it has nice paint where it has paint. And there is no, you can open a cockpit, but there are no seats or any type of detail in there like that. But overall, it looks nice for what it is, but when you start handling it, you might move it all about. So that could be frustrating for you. And it's kind of boring also that it doesn't have rolling wheels to, to me that's boring especially with a masterpiece style figure 
Uh, but I'll get more into it. But this seems like an update to the MP11 mold more than just doing their own thing of making a masterpiece style seeker. But it looks okay right here. Nicely painted. I can't harp on it too much. Here is Crimson Wings. He seems to have way more detail on his back. Probably as much detail as the MP11 mold and MP52, to be honest. Nicely painted. That Make Toys one doesn't seem to be fully painted as far as the wings and any of the... A lot of the white part, to be honest, but this is pretty much fully painted. They got this accurate, and even though it has hinges, they blend in more. Don't sit out. It's thicker or chunkier down here, not as flat. You do have a seat right there, and you can open this. It's very highly difficult to open it, and it doesn't open all the way. You kind of like untransform parts to do that but you can get a little dude in there but it didn't work out for me watch the full review for this guy and watch the full review for any of the three because i did a full review for all three of them and i did a transformation video even for this one separately because the transformation for this guy is highly difficult I like to mention that the Make Toys one is the easiest transformation out of all the three in this video. But no Decepticon logo, of course, because this isn't official. This doesn't really lock in the place, but it stays way more stiff than the Make Toys. The wheels and the landing gear actually roll. This landing gear door, unfortunately, on this copy does not want to stay shut. But, well it stays shut when I say it won't stay shut. But close that, do that, and you can just flip this up. You don't have to pull anything out. And you have the null ray cannons, which all of them are optional. You can pop them off, but you can flip this around and transform it. And this missile does shoot off. It's not compatible with any blast effects that I have, and it's key to fit on right there. But yeah, I like it. It feels nice comes together nice it doesn't have the black details on the back the thrusters aren't really adjustable you can do that but they aren't designed to adjust like the other two well mostly the official star screen is designed to but let me show you what it looks like with the null ray instead here's what it will look like with the null ray extended instead of the missile well yeah looks good can't complain about it and I like that it rolls looks like this fully on the bottom if you want to see this which is mm, cartoon accurate I don't know how much this extended in the cartoon but I do remember this looking like this a little bit and certain scenes these things change from episode to episode <laughs> I do think it's cool that the head is right there just like it was on the original G1 toy that's nice and if somebody desperately wanted to see, even though I didn't do this on the Make Toys, here's what it looks like if you move that. Now, I do wish it didn't have, like, robot kibble hanging up out, out there, but, yeah, it is what it is. And this plastic right here, I believe all of this, is, well, most of it is fully painted, so you might have to worry about scuffing the plastic right there while you're transforming because of the plastic they use. But, yeah, can't complain about it too much because it, it comes together well and it, it looks like what it looks like. almost forgot to do this for him. Here is his instruction manual, which is horrible. And here's the packaging. The packaging is nice, but they have a mistransformed picture right there. So that is goofy and unfortunately, unfortunate. And only accessories it comes with is two extra faces. So, yeah. Yeah, that's not very interesting, but it is what it is. Now we have MP52 Starscream. He has a bigger price point than these guys. The Make Toys one was the cheapest. When I bought it, it was 120 at purchase, but now they have one that's a little bit more that comes with more pieces. And now you can look up TM reviews. He did a review on that. 
the reissue that comes with more stuff. Unlike the other two guys, Starscream with that bigger price point comes with a lot of stuff. He comes with the instructions and this collector's card and whatnot. Like I said, if you want to see more details on that, watch the full review. He comes with this three part stand right here, which is this plastic stand, this plastic stand, and then this arm that holds him up. Out of package, it might be loose or flimsy, but if you tighten that screw, you can get him to move about on this without falling off and you can even tilt it tilt it to the side and whatnot which is cool if you wanted to like rotate it you have to actually pull it off and he actually has another secondary accessory that clamps into this so yeah they went out this the thing the difference with masterpiece is masterpiece tries to go all out and give you like the best experience you can have with these figures and not just give you just a plain old robot that turns into a vehicle and and that's it they <laughs> try to go the extra mile this arm is actually adjustable as well so yeah and a lot of people love flight stands for flying vehicles so it's cool that that's included for the cost I'm going to hold off on showing you all the accessories. I'm going to show you the accessories that he can use in this mode right here. But as you can see, he has his missile pods right there. The missile pods can transform into null rays, but here's how it is. Since he is an official product, he does have Decepticon logos right there. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the, the stripes on there, which was something he, a detail he did have in the cartoon. So that is awkward that they didn't put that on there him his thrusters are completely adjustable they can go up and down and rotate and you can even lift these flaps up there is no engine detail in there like they had on the previous versions of this guy you can't lift up that and you can't lift up this to show that this some type of air brake that he had but it looks like this on the bottom which is also cartoon accurate i had to look at the image to see that he had this thing right there I don't know if it's this huge, but it was there. It has other features like this radar disc still there. Just like the previous versions. You can open up the cockpit very easy. And it does have a purple seat detail. And some semblance of a dash. It's not painted in or anything. But yeah. If you have a diaclone pilot that took our tommy makes you can't fit him inside of there i assume you can fit the original plastic hologram pilots in there as well well i know if you can fit this in there you can i'm not too sure on the like crimson wings but yeah looks nice fully painted everything pretty much painted if i have any issues i haven't found a way to make this sit flush these tend to be loose on me there's that intake detail right there which i did not show on crimson wings it just looks like screws which is kind of old school ghetto ugly <laughs> to be honest i never really thought to pay too much attention to that to be honest until now i'm looking at this but Seeing screw sliders like that is something you would see on an older toy. But yeah, a lot of this is mostly painted. Um, I don't really like the ugliness of the armature right here. I mean, you could take it off of the armature. Yeah, you could, you could flip that around if you take it off the armature. And you can even put the extra armature piece back there so you won't even see it. So that is an option. When you plug it in there, it doesn't stay in there super solid, but it stays in there. If you flip the no ray cannons out, you can attach one of three of the blast effect options right here. And you can attach this Megatron gun to the bottom of them, just like you did in the cartoon. And he comes with thrusters right here. So, <laughs> none of the other two options can compete at all when it comes to playability in jet mode. And basically robot mode let me spoiler alert unfortunately you only get one of the three options 
But the other two Seekers, Thundercracker and Skywarp, are going to be coming with these, and they know you're going to be buying all of them. So you'll probably you'll have the option to have two of each of these instead of just having one if you want things to be cohesive. And I did not show the landing here, which is accessed by opening this, pulling this down. It looks like that right there. And on here, you open this, open this door. His is the most involved and you can pull and get the wheel out right there. He actually rolls extremely crazy well. And that makes the Make Toys the only one that doesn't have actual real rolling wheels. Um, besides the intakes being able to be pushed down too easily, these wings back here can be knocked out of whack and all this stuff. This is adjustable. So yeah, pretty much all of them. If you bump the wings, you're going to have to readjust them. But they're not as bad as the Make Toys one. I'm going to go aerial. As you can see, Starscream is the darkest. Crimson Wings is slightly darker, and Meteor is very light. Starscream is the shortest. I mean, you can't really tell until you put them together, but Meteor and this guy should be... Mm, Crimson Wings is slightly, slightly longer, and I know I have the lights bright over there. Yeah, Crimson Wings look to be slightly longer, but they're all close. They all fit in. Y'all can let me know in the comments. Uh, hmm. It's hard for me to pick one of the jet modes that I like the most, but I definitely like all the play options, like being able to just easily open this and put an actual pilot in there. That's something I'll enjoy, enjoy doing. I've been enjoying stuff like that since I was younger, being able to put actual pilots inside of the vehicles and whatnot and all the other features so for me personally i like the star scream the most because i have way more options it even comes with its own stand you don't have to go find some type of stand for you to use but i will say crimson wing probably stays together the most like you don't have to keep pushing things down into place all right here they all are in robot mode and as you can see, they look like Starscream. Some of them look more like Starscream than some other ones, but yeah. Let's look at Make Toys first. Make Toys Meteor. For what he's worth, it's still a good figure. It has a lot more issues than the other two, so he, that could be a problem for some people. <laughs> this figure for, oh, and for, hmm. Lack of a better way to describe it, it's kind of like a, an update to the MP03, MP11 mold. It's like they took some of the engineering from that. Like it's very simple to transform compared to the other two. Like super simple compared to the other two. But um, it does have some annoying elements like the way the nose cone transforms. It's almost impossible to transform this without popping this off. And like I said, this is version one. You do not have the wing fillers. I actually have the wing fillers that came with my dirge that I never reviewed. But I'm, I'm probably going to sell this. Well, not probably. I'm going to sell this. So I don't know about putting those wing fillers in because people may want that if I decide to sell dirge. But um, yeah, it looks like them. But unfortunately, now that time has slipped past, and some of these issues I had when I first got them, like number one, can you see that face right now? No. Starscream was known to have a darker face than Thundercracker and Skywarp, but this might be absolutely too black. You gotta have the lights like directly in front of his freaking face to see it. What? There's that. I got. I put the smirk face on him. He does have two other faces that are actually hard to get to because he can't look up to pop, pop the face off. You basically have to pop his whole entire head off, then grab at that face, and then we can put on another face. I'll see what it is after I put it on. This is his. Uh, 
don't kill me face. Which is always useful. And here's his just neutral being a regular guy face. And he does come with this choke me harder daddy face right here with a molded hand for like I said Despotron. You can pop that on the neck. And then Despotron can be choking him to death. Or just choking some sense into him. And look at this. This is the crazy part. This can actually look up. So, <laughs> yeah. But, let's pop that on. The head, like you saw, is on the balls. Right I did the spin around. You can look down a bit. You can tilt the head and all that. These vents squeeze. You can look that way. And the shoulder pylons are not poseable at all. He has no butterfly joint. But the shoulders go up to there. And come, they go 360 if the wings aren't in the way. But trying to aim out, you're going to be bumping into the wings unless you get super strategic with it. And the wings like to detach from the back. It's pretty much, like I said, it's very reminiscent of the MP03, MP11 mold. These can do that. You don't get the sticker on that. You have to put one on there yourself. And you can slide the wings up and down and decide where you want them to be. He has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You have this hollowness right there in the sculpting. Wrists rotate. The fingers open all together right there. And he does have two joints and the index finger so he can kind of point. The thumb does nothing. And you can rotate the wrist inward a little bit. You get a waist. And everything just does not feel good. When you're articulating and you're going to have to replace or move pieces back to where they need to be because this right here constantly sliding you can use this right here as an ab crunch and he gets an extreme ab crunch what it looks like that back there you saw he has a butt flap that they couldn't figure out another way to make transform the hip skirts get out the way so they can do all that he can kick up more than 90 degrees and if you use the ab crunch he can kick all the way up he can bend the knee more than 90 degrees especially if i just slid part of his leg down out of transformation so you'll have to put that back if you bend that more but no there we go no never mind i thought i did it without <laughs> dislodging this but I didn't yeah I'm doing that every time I try to do it you get the fan story squeak as well be careful with this red painted plastic right there and you do get ankle pivot that comes in that much this toe or the thruster rotates for stability and the toe can come out and forward for ankle rocking possibilities now you can take the null ray cannons off and put the missiles back in but who wants to do that in robot mode he doesn't come with any other accessories so let's make our way to the next guy crimson wings much like make toys meteor he is light on accessories you just get the null ray cannons which are Part of his body i almost don't even consider them an accessory because they're part of his body and you get two extra faces but uh, between those two this is far more solid a robot it does have some things that come out of whack while you're manipulating them but he is way more a solid action figure than meteor like, pretty much the only thing that I can complain about that comes out of whack is while you're moving them, this panel right here, it does not lock into place on either side. So if you push that, push on the leg, that will 
come out on both sides. Like there's no clip on feature. So they, I don't know why they didn't think about that. But as far as his sculpt and his look, he is very, very, very cartoon accurate. Some people disagree with that. I don't know why. Because it is super cartoon accurate. This and MB52 are super duper cartoon accurate. In fact, this one is more cartoon accurate because of the way they designed the back. The back actually looks similar to this. Except this part will be sunken in on the cartoon while this comes out a bit, just like the G1 toy. And the butt would, of course, be out further to meet his back instead of his back hanging out. I saw they're making some type of third party add on thing. But, um, yeah. Let's get into the face. Here's this face, the smirky face. My favorite face, fam. If you wanted to, you could put point these back, but who wants that? Who wants to do that? And when you do do it, you do see through it, unfortunately, because of the way he transforms. They they needed that hollow space, but his face pops off just like everybody else's face. You can have that one. You can put on the the regular stoic face. Get in there. Here you are, you got a regular stoic face right there. I'm thinking his face is probably a tad too bright. But the same red paint on his eyes, they put that paint on his body. So he's pretty much fully painted all over. It's, I'm hard pressed to find an area of the body that's not painted. And on not so much on his regular body, but on the transformation joints. There's a lot of red paint rubbish onto this gray paint right here. But you see his neck. You can flatten the neck down so you don't see the neck to your liking. It can come forward. He can't really tilt side to side too much, but it can rotate. And it can look up that much. Not all the way up, but good enough for poses and whatnot. And it can look down. His arms go out, go all the way around. If the wings weren't there, he can aim outward without bumping into his wing too much. The wings are capable, if you move this, capable of moving back as well. And he does have a butterfly joint, dedicated butterfly joint. Bicep rotation, super tight. In order to get the double joint, you need to bend down here. Then you can bend up. The hands are the best out of all of these because it can go out, not so much in. Each finger has two joints like that. The thumb is the same and you get a ball joint right there so the thumb can rotate and whatnot. So there you go, that, that's, that's good. You get a solid soft, no, solid friction rotation. It rotates about that much separates right here just like the make toys and you are capable of elongating this so you can get an ab crunch but it destroys the sculpt and there's some of that paint rubbers right there it doesn't matter because you never see that ever in both modes so there's that you can lean back as well if you want outward motion that much his legs can actually go back you get a secondary hinge right here for posability. That's the it that's not needed for transformation, so it's definitely there for different posability if you want. Coming forward, these joints right here are extremely tight. It's kind of loose because I've moved that so many times, or loose er, I should say. He can kick forward that much, and with the ab crunch, his legs are only capable of going up that far. You get thigh rotation that stops there. Doubles on it knees. The toe pivots that much. But then you can actually come around and make the heel pivot with it. It doesn't have a toe rocker and I complained about that in this review. But you can extend this to kind of 
keep them stable for posing. Yeah. But one of the feet, if you lean them for on one foot, the this foot is being supported, but the other foot is going to be dangling in the air. So um, you would have to just get real creative with your posability. Now he does have a hole in the null ray cannons, but it has no like blast effects or anything. So it would have been cooler if he had blast effects. And I forgot to show this while it was in this mode in my review. But because his cockpit is so transparent, you can see that seat right there, and that is kind of off-putting to me. Um, I can't think of anything else to really like complain about, but outside of me wanting better ankle articulation, this is a solid figure. It just is bare bones and doesn't come with much, but he has, he still has good, cool posability. You could make these back into the missile launchers if you want wanted to. But you can't do anything like take them off and be, make them become handguns. His chest doesn't open up and become and show his his cluster bombs under there, nothing like that. You just get a cool, solid, well painted, well designed, look good looking G1 star screen. So there you are with that. Who can really complain with that? Now, the transformation is a complete and utter nightmare. I have a transformation video, T-Man's How to Transform Deformation Space Crimson Wings. Now, there's MP52 Starscream in his robot mode. And as you can see, he can still utilize the stand in this mode. And unfortunately, there's no, like, raising lever or anything. So, he barely gets off the ground. And you pretty much got to lean it back to like really get him off the ground. And depending on how far you have this forward and how far you have his legs forward, he might fall over as you saw. But you have to utilize this stand portion in order to get him on there. So let's get that off. All right, I saved him for less because he has the most going on, like the most for the price. He should have the most going on. But here he is. He is very cartoon accurate especially from the front like him and deformation space it you have to really do double takes to see what's different now the back is nowhere near as accurate but they're enjoying making backpacks at the car told me <laughs> recently so a lot of that sits forward you either love it love it hate it or you're indifferent to it because you mostly look at your frigates from the front. Or you look at this. When I first saw this, I was thinking, does he turn into a Tetra jet? Because that's what this design looks like. But nope. When they kept showing more pictures, we saw that he turns into a F-15 Eagle. I believe that's what the jet is. I hope I'm right. But um, yeah, looks good. The face, very similar to the deformation space version in fact i think they they took what they saw of the prototype designs and based their faces on this here's his kind of happy making fun of somebody face this is his one of bet smirking face right there this is his megatron is that you face or you could just use this for whatever it's just shock his generic face a closed mouth smile right there. Starscream was always smiling because he was ignorant and cocky. And here's a face he used while he was treating Megatron on the Autobot shuttle, shuttle door in the movie. And he cannot hold this gun. <laughs> Worth crap. The peg system that they use, they need to overhaul that like I don't know what. It does not plug into that little opening right here. Like freaking at all plug it in it just comes right out you basically gotta position it and just gingerly place them somewhere 
so it doesn't come out. But here's it's even here's an even closer look at Megatron right there. None of this stuff comes off, and you can put any of the three blast effects on him that you see fit. No ray cannons are here, but of course they can swivel. I didn't say this with the other two there. No ray cannons can swivel and like move out like that. But his you can actually readjust like this to make toys as well. It's pretty much the same type of fins. Now his cannons, unlike the crimson wings, which are the, are the closest to this since they transform into their other form. I don't really like that seam on there. That's unfortunate. It's, it's a cool feature, but having these seams right there messes it up, especially in his other form and, and the missile form for me. If you want to, you can take the null ray cannon off and there's a handle that come out, comes out and you can make them hold it as a gun. And just like the Megatron gun, he is very, very loosely holding this and you are capable of still using the blast effects right there, but loosely holding that. I hope they fix that with the next releases and people are gonna start having Thundercracker reviews soon. So maybe they'll talk about that. Make sure that they talk about that. I didn't pre-order him. So yeah, I'll, I'll get Thundercracker whenever. I did pre-order Skywarp because Skywarp. Not only can you still use the blast effects, but you can still use his thruster effects. So if you can get a better stand, you can get them propped up actually using these. His last two accessories are this drill hand right there and the clamp hand that he used to pull the cosmic rust rock out of Megatron's body. And the clamp hand does have one joint. This hands can open up and let that go. But outside of that, other features he has are the cluster bombs right here. And I didn't show this in the jet mode, but underneath of here, he does have cluster bomb detail right there. So in jet mode, and I think there is an episode where they did this, they made their wet wings open and these bombs shot out from right there, like onto the ground. So yeah, this dude, when Takara Tomy makes masterpieces, they make masterpieces. They try to get any and all the special moments that a character had, especially the bigger figures. Maybe not so much the smaller figures like the Autobot cars, but anybody bigger than that, they try to make sure they get, they cover everything. But articulation, the head can look all the way up and beyond because of that neck joint. I mean, if you don't want to see that hole, this is about how far he can get. Pretty much the same as Crimson Wing. But from whatever angle, if you have an angle like that, he can look up. The neck is capable of tilting side to side more than the Crimson Wing. And he has another hinge where he can look all the way down. So without that, without this right here, Megatron can actually grip his hand around the neck. Watch my full review if you want to see that happen. These squishy, and all of them have squishy vents right there. The shoulders go out like that. They can rotate, soft ratchet, can kind of come down because he has a hinge that actually lifts up to make the arm higher. And then it can go up even more in the 90. And then you have a dedicated butterfly joint which you can still also use that hand so you can get the hand all the way around. The shoulder is, a, or the bicep is a pull, tricep is supposed to lock into place and you still get more than 90 degrees of bend. But if you detach that, and now that I want to detach it, it's not. But if you detach this part of his arm, you can get the arm to close in that much so a lot of rotation right there the hand the hand is pretty much the exact same thing as deformation space but when it's open it can actually come inward deformation spaces can't do that and it can go outward but all the fingers are the exact same 
the thumb is pretty much the same but it doesn't have a ball joint right there so it doesn't rotate so you just have to work with that positioning right there and get creative the ab crunch has a dedicated ab crunch that crunches like this when you do it too far this detached from right there but let me do it correctly it does this and that extends keeping his whole body intact he has no weight swivel controversy everybody think it's the worst because it doesn't have that but like i said in crimson wings review it might bother somebody when you rotate this is how he was designed in the show I always thought or wondered to myself, even as a kid, how would he rotate his body if this cockpit goes down into his crotch like that? But, um, yeah, it is unfortunate that they didn't figure out a way because they could have made this like expand as you rotate if they wanted this to be one cohesive piece. But they didn't for whatever reason. Leg can go out to the side that much. His thigh swivels only that much because the way it's sculpted, it kind of like bumps on something. But he can kick up more than 90 degrees. Use the ab crunch. He can kick up almost as good as make to his meteor. The knee bends more than 90 degrees. The heel, that can open up. So this can go out like that. The toe, the foot can go back. The foot can come forward. It can rock on that. If you actually detach it, because it like locks in the place. Come on, you. Yeah, there we go. The foot can rock forward even more, and this can actually elongate and come down for support. And it can wiggle side to side, and you get ankle pivot that much before it starts breaking the sculpt but it still wants you to be able to rotate that all the way around in fact i didn't know it could do that till just now i thought it automatically stopped right here but as you can see he has a crazy amount of ankle pivot that you can't even use i don't believe i talked about this but he has die cast here the whole part all of this the brighter red right here is die cast and these are die cast i'm not sure if it has any die cast anywhere else crimson wing has die cast in the feet and some die cast on the back and whatnot oh yeah if you want some more heel stability people do this right there you don't have to but it's there and some people complain that their knees are weak or their ankles are weak and they can't get him to stand up mine doesn't have that problem luckily and plus i also think that this was designed so that it will stop right here so you put the foot right there and then balance everything else around that and you should be good to go but some people say that their knees just collapse if you hold it by this it's going to bend back because the knees are not strong enough to hold all of this weight this thing does feel hefty not as hefty as a fan's toys but it is it is heavy in comparison to some other masterpiece figures so that's that if i have any gripes um the colorization in certain areas like that plastic is darker than this because it's not painted this is slightly darker because that's also not painted i don't believe mostly everything else on the whole entire body is is painted um, this pylon does not lock in a place like this one on mine. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, these, I wish that these locked in better. I mean, I guess I could put floor polish on that and make that stay in there if I wanted to. And even though it doesn't really hurt anything, when I don't since this isn't supposed to open sometimes i don't want it to open as far as articulation but you can use that for articulation 
And I didn't mention that the wings can bend back a little bit to get out the way, but not much. Um, yeah, I, I really like this figure and I like all the options that it has as far as the accessories and it's super expressive and looks G1 just like the Crimson Wing. So they're pretty much, pretty much to me a tie almost, but end of the day let me let me get all of them in here all right here they all are uh let me just get this out of the way there's no way i would out of these three that if i had if money was no object there's no way i would pick a <laughs> toys meteor he is basically using outdated style technology it looks better than the old official masterpiece figures mp3 and mp11 but yeah, it, it is frustrating to handle because of the way it is. It's so like kibbly. The wings aren't stiff. Nothing sturdy is not solid at all. Now, the Crimson Wing is more stable or, or sturdy, I feel like, because the joints are super extremely tight. But um, you couldn't go wrong with either one of these, to be honest. If you do not care at all about all the accessories and play options and whatnot, this is definitely a good figure to get. But if you do, like if you if you did own this, it's kind of hard to own the official one and then start messing around with, with this one and be like, completely 100% satisfied that's my problem with it like <clears throat> when Sony was sending this to me I was like because I had an option I was trying to get parts my friend Matt parts for me just, just let me review his but I was like you know what if, if Sony <laughs> let me review his he might wind up wanting to sell it to me because I was like he's seeming lukewarm on it but now in hand is like yeah i can do more with the official one and i really really like that like yeah. if this came with a stand and some blast effects i might be singing a different tune and i complained about this in his review he comes with two different smiling faces and a neutral face where you saw all the face options this one has i think they shouldn't have given him two smiling face it should have just came with the smirk face and then like some type of angry yelling face but um yeah these two right here are the ones to get this one is the most cartoon accurate solid the hands articulate better i uh, wish it had more of a ankle rocker in the foot since it doesn't really have one you just have the thruster the wings are more cartoon accurate the transformation is an absolute freaking nightmare. <laughs> this guy, the transformation is only slightly better than this. And it's not completely cartoon accurate on the back. And it doesn't have that waist swivel, which kills a lot of people. But the fact that you can do things like transform it while it's still wearing the null rays. And it has just so many other features. And it's still cartoon accurate. Oh yeah, and height. Let me let me bring in some other transformers. Depending on where you land on the sunbow chart, or how, how close you want to follow that, uh, Crimson Wing might be a little bit too tall. He's like the same height as Soundwave, and he's definitely taller than the official Shockwave, which I'm hearing a lot of people think is a little bit too short, and I kind of feel like that as well. I like the official Shockwave, but he is he is kind of small to be honest with you but he is still shorter than megatron and depending on the episode this height might be accurate and then on another episode this height will be accurate so yeah. if you want to be cheap and you want still an awesome figure get that unless oh yeah the price some places are selling this guy for two hundred dollars i that's only like a little bit less than getting this and getting all those accessories to me. 
other people, the, the people that are getting this earlier than the U.S. stores only pay one forty. That's an awesome price, but the two hundred dollar price, eww, I couldn't be on on. I couldn't be on board with that. That would make me completely not look at this, to be honest, and just keep getting the official because I have Sky Warp on pre order for two twenty four right now. So, eww. but yeah. Let me know constructively how you feel in the comments about these, all three of these figures, not Megatron. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos, click the in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos, click those. In videos, baby, click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the chip. Go ahead and click the chip. If you think you would like it.